in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the ways that you can add supports in Prusa Slicer 2.6. The Print Checker tool is also activated automatically during slicing to give you a warning if your print requires supports. You can see the overhang areas in blue. To access the Paint on Supports option, go to Paint on Supports tool on your left hand side, or you can choose L as a keyboard shortcut. This will bring up the Paint on Supports menu where you have all the options that you need in order to get the support that you want for your model. The FDM Support Painting tool now includes an automatic painting option for support enforcers on the model. The result, a more efficient placement of supports. For example, bridges are now supported by regularly spaced pillars instead of being supported along their entire length. You can see here the difference between adding support everywhere versus adding automatic support for support enforcers only. Remember, when you enable supports everywhere, this new automatic support function won't be used for support generation. You'll need to open the Paint on Supports tool and use Automatic Painting, then select Supports for Support Enforcers only. If you prefer, you can still manually paint supports on yourself and you can still use a smart fill option to cover a large surface area.